I'm excited. I hope that you guys are also excited. Top eight wise. Week seven, next level battle circuit. This is Street Fighter V edition. Uh, in the top eight, we have uh, Zaffirino versus Flux Waves. That's winner semis. We have Chris Hu versus Shine, also winner semis. We have Joey versus Idom. That will be losers top eight round one. And uh, last but not least, uh, we have one more match that is still undecided, but that will be featuring probably some very strong players considering how crazy this entire bracket has been. Allow me to get out of the way so we can get this started. This should be winner's semis. Flux Waves versus Zaffirino. Uh, both these players really earning their spots here tonight. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what's going to happen between the two of them. Who sent Idom to the loser's bracket? That was Chris Who. Chris Fascinating Who sent them to the loser's bracket. Good job, Chris. Played really well with the set tonight. Uh, really great axe kicks. Really good spacing and footies. And really good throws. He kept it really simple, too. For a character that you would think is quite complicated, like Seth, that has so many transitions and weird things that he can do. No, he he, he would play a lot of footies. I gotta give it to him. He definitely made the character look extremely respectable. Alright, winner semi's coming up, guys. Let's get excited. Top 8 once again. Thanks to everybody that's been contributing to the Match Arena crowdfund tonight. By the way, we do appreciate all of your support as we've reached... Whoa! Is that real? $461.09. Thank you, guys. Save NOBC 21 is the promo code tonight. Please throw that promo in there. Check out our friends at Sonic. And round check out one. everything else, guys. We appreciate you as we're going to round number one. Winner semis. And it's going to be player one side, Flux Waves versus player two, Zaffirino. There is no way on planet Earth that Zaffirino does not know this matchup because he's played it quite a few times against our homie Idom, a.k.a. the champ. So best believe that he knows how to approach the matchup and he knows how to make it work. Uh, that being said, Flux Waves, he's had amazing long-range spacing, ultimate long. He, he finds this range. In Tekken, we call this like range two. It's about two backdashes away. I don't think we have a term like that in Street Fighter, but I just want to mention it because it's notable. So Flux Waves' perfect spacing is that range two, that two backdash away range, where he pokes, he cancels, he presses buttons, and he does lots of other stuff. And yes, it is winner's semis. My bad. Let me fix that. I misclicked. Blame Spooky. Combo. Tiger uppercut. Oh, uh, Zaffirino likes to use zones? Okay. I guess that makes sense, right? Like zone one, zone two, zone three, something like that. But in Tekken, they call that uh, range. So range zero is like point blank. Range one is one backdash. Range two is two backdashes. And a flux waves, like I said, he's extremely strong at that. That two backdash away. Whoa, what was that? Am, am I bugging? I feel like that was not supposed to happen. The Molotov literally went over his head. Did anybody else see that? Round two. <laughs> right, anyway, Zaffirino. Bro, he dodges Molotovs? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Heart rate, get off. Okay, I see. Thank you, Chakotay. So Chakotay points out that if you crouch uh, and you're at like the mid-range or further away range, it'll actually go over you. That's pretty great. Heart rate. Tiger. Now Flux, is, Flux Waves is coming into his zone with what he likes to do. He's doing lots of stance cancels. He's doing lots of these pokes from long range. Combos are not a necessity. Just pokes. Tiger. Mm -hmm. I don't think so, my friend. You thought that lady would back off, but she's a demon hunter. Alright, we're starting to pull out this low tiger shot game. This is a good way to counteract that particular low of flux waves that he likes to use. Or that crouching button, I should say. That's not plus. Sorry, my friend. Oh, nice jump back. Zap, he did not want to guess. Kick some ass into my link. She's kicking ass all over the place. Who saw that? That was like three kicks in one combo. Or right, anyway. Tigers. Interrupted by Zab. And he gets the combo. Very nice. Very nice counter combo. Anti-air. No. Damn. He's still in it though. That was pretty lucky for him. And a low medium kick into the Tiger shot. We'll close it out. Good job, Zap. Tiger wins. Damn, all right then. This is definitely Street Fire, that's for sure. Tiger.
Hey, so what what was Zap's name for uh, backdash distance, by the way? I saw someone mention it in the chat because I definitely want to steal that term. I don't want to say range all the time because it's definitely a Tekken term. Zones? Is that what Zap called it? Zones? So like zone one is one backdash, zone two is two backdash? Okay. I like that. A friend zone? <laughs> two backdashes away? All right. The friend zone. That's where Poison likes to keep you, as you can tell. Let's stay over there. Let's be friends. Personal space invaded by Zaffarino with the V reversal. He's got a pretty, pretty good lead, but not enough that I could say that he can just chill. He's definitely got to be careful about those Tiger shots because Flux Wave is scouting for the jump in. And a clean jump in will definitely, definitely nullify this lead real fast. Throw attempt, no go, and Flux Wave. Uh oh, uh oh, it's coming back. This is what I was scared of. Crush. Follow up. Damn, you got those Zaffarino. All right then. Man, his damage has been extremely clutch. No combo drops today from Zaf. Yeah, his his nope. The only thing that he's been weak on is the tiger knees. He's been trying to set up those max range tiger knees that have a good frame data after. Unfortunately, he's been too close a lot of the time. And Fluxways has not been getting hit by them either. So three escapes for him. Looking for the stun. He's got the stun. Zaffarino 2-0. Bro. No, he didn't kill. Oh, my God. You let him live. Oh, but if he comes back, I'm scared. Bro, I'm so scared. Combo time. He's looking for the stun. He does not get it. Damn, if he had stunned at the next sequence, I think that Zaff would have lost that round. <laughs> you got to pay for not getting the kill. But uh, thankfully, Zaff had enough health that he could weather the storm there. And he will advance. All right, round secured, game secured, and Zaffarino guaranteed top three tonight. That's extremely impressive, guys. And you want to know what he gets for being guaranteed top three? Oh, he gets a piece of these Macharino bucks that you guys have been contributing. Hell yeah. Thanks so much, everyone, for $465 raised tonight, of which Zaffarino guaranteed will get a nice piece of. And, of course, we could always use more, guys. So if you're enjoying the tournament tonight, if you're enjoying three Capcom Cup champs getting bodied and getting sent to loser's bracket, Please, guys, we implore you to keep keep donating, keep keep generating revenue for these guys. Use that promo code SAVENOBC21 if you want to help out. What else can you do, fellas? You can also check out all the, the quests on the sidebar. Text GAMER1 to 876642 for special offers from Sonic, as well as adding $1 to the Match Arena crowdfund. You can also check out all the links and sponsor quests here in the sidebar. You can scroll through for even more quests. You have the Twitter quest, the YouTube quest, the Click quest. You can also buy products in the store, and you can donate directly. And, of course, every little bit counts. It helps out, guys. We appreciate all your support. Thank you once again to The Visualizer, who gave $200. Thank you, The Visualizer. You're so generous, my friend. Powerful Antoine, also extremely generous. He gives money every week. Thank you, Antoine. Thank you, Blinded Justice, H Genki 2 and Press God. Thank you very much, guys, for contributing. We appreciate all of your support.